You had Senator James Lankford weighing in on the arrest as well. He says, quote, this is a stark reminder that our nation continues to face threats from those who hate our freedom and want to do us harm. Senator Lankford joins us live this morning with his thoughts on what this means for Oklahoma and safety. Good morning, Senator. Hey, good morning to you. We want to start with just your general reaction this morning as we're learning new details about this arrest. Yeah, this has been an issue the FBI and the Oklahoma City Field Office, the Joint Terrorism Task Force, and some local law enforcement have tracked for a while now uh, as he has continued to be able to plan to be able to carry out attack on behalf of ISIS. Uh, it is a reminder, as I mentioned before, that we need to be vigilant. There are people that hate our freedom, and there's nothing that screams more freedom for the United States than elections. And there are people around the world, these terrorist organizations, that hate the fact that we have our, the freedom that we have. That's why Israel is facing what it is facing right now from multiple different sides because of their hatred for freedom. And that's why we face that on 9-11. So the threat has not gone away for us and we need to continue to be able to pay attention to that globally and at home. Senator, a lot of questions about how uh, this man got to Oklahoma City, how the juvenile relative got here. Both of them came on special immigration visas, and Tawidi came in 2021, just days after the fall of Afghanistan. What are you wanting to know this morning? Yeah, there are several things are that. Obviously, there are thousands of people that came uh, with those Afghans that came on those special immigrant visas. Uh, the vast majority of those folks came because they fought alongside American troops. They were known by American troops. Uh, they were translators. They were people that literally risked their lives to fight terrorism with us. But there were also some other individuals that came on those planes that we saw in the chaos of that withdrawal that we know less about. So that's what we're trying to be able to find out is how much was known about this individual. What was the vetting that was actually done on it? Uh, was this an individual that was connected to terrorism or this, this an individual that was fighting terrorism in Afghanistan? So we, we, the vast majority of the folks that are here, they were fighting terrorism, and we need to be able to stand with those folks as they stood with us. Senator Langford, you are on the Homeland Security Committee, also the Intelligence Committee for the Senate. Uh, the affidavit says uh, co-conspirators. It looks like possibly more people could have been involved uh, what can you glean to that? We know of a juvenile that's not being listed out here publicly because he has juvenile status that was also very involved in this plot and they had planned to become martyrs on election day to try to murder as many Americans as they possibly could uh, and then themselves die as a martyr in a, in a shootout. So we're keenly aware of those two, FBI Joint Terrorism Task Force. They've been very engaged in trying to be able to track down anyone else who may be connected. Obviously, they're connected in that community, but they're finding many people in the community are opposed to what they were doing, not supportive of what they're doing. And Senator, just about 20 seconds left here. I'm wondering if you're concerned as we get closer and closer to Election Day, if there could be other plots. Are you concerned about that? Sure, we're concerned about that. That's why you pay attention to it. That's why you stay engaged. Uh, I've been aware of this one for a while based on my work with the Intelligence Committee mm -hmm. as it continues to be able to track, but you pay attention to any threat uh, that anyone has to be able to take the lives of Americans no matter where they are. So yes, it's important that we stay uh, alert, we pay attention, we report things uh, back to law enforcement and that they are fully aware. So if anyone else knows of anything else, of any type of threat like this, uh, it is important they report that to law enforcement so we can continue to be able to protect all of our lives. U.S. Senator James Langford. Senator, thank you for joining us this morning. We appreciate it. Thank you. Yeah. And later in the studio, Governor Kevin Stitt joining us live talking further about this.